all these are left-handed thread and these are right-handed thread. So basically this makes one toe arm. We have to get the bar on the uh, one side of the bar on just to be uh, threaded. Left-handed thread. And then this is the camber arm. Uh, this one basically has the left-handed bar and has to have the right-handed thread on this side. And then we just double that. Plus, um, got to make bushings inserts for this for four of them and then on, on the other side you fit like one of these but this isn't right this is not the right part number that I bought and it fits in there and then it bolts up to the chassis um, one two there and then on the other side it bolts up to the uh, trailing arm that's the toe arm yeah the toe arm bolts to the to the trailing arm oh, up here. and then this one bolts to the chassis and this is the top of the fan there. Got like the normal, just like the working spaces to make it fit. And yeah, so we got the solution to the camp. And we'll put that after it. Right so we're going to bring that to Wildcard and we'll get that made. Card pipes. <laughs> automatic drive shaft laying around yeah you can see like that needs to go in like at least two inches or two and a half inches but uh, the thing is I don't know if I'm gonna let me just take off the quick release here boom quick release uh, I don't know if you guys can see that right now it, it doesn't line up the bolts because it's a uh, 300 is 300 drive shaft to a R200 240SX diff. So what I would need to do is get Joe to make me like a uh, IS300 to 240SX drive shaft, um, like a spacer, and that would also space this in two and a half inches. Make myself mounts for the carrier bearing, 
then boom, I just saved myself 500 bucks for a, for a drive shaft for now, so I can get this thing running. And I mean, stock drive shafts should be good for at least, you know, 400. Right now, uh, I'm also working on the uh, turbo pipe. I gotta get this uh, TIG welded so it doesn't crack. Uh, so, like I said, I'm working on the drive shaft tunnel. And then we're gonna make the transmission tunnel. And then that whole interior is gonna be ready to go to the cage. So, we've got the IS steering rack. I'm actually gonna be taking off this, uh, this bar here. So I can make the rack work. I gotta get the, I gotta chop the steering column uh, extender, U joint. U joint. This thing right here. If you guys can see that, but this right here is too long. So the steering steering column actually sits like two inches back, which is not what I want. And yeah, so the center section's out. We got it sitting right here. I'm gonna chop off the excess that I'm not gonna be using, extend it. Uh, less than I thought, actually, because with the drive shaft in, yeah, with the drive shaft in, it doesn't have to go up much more. I gotta chop maybe like an inch, inch and a half, probably more like two inches or inch and a half, just in case I do get a uh, aftermarket drive shaft made eventually. I wanna have the clearance. But uh, this should work fine for now, actually. I'm pretty fucking stoked on that.